Kids, it is now time for the Sermon in a Box, and so I invite all the kids who are willing to join me here up front. Uh, if you're new with us, what we do in the Sermon in the Box is one child in the congregation puts something in the box. I don't know what it is until I see it, and then I try to come up with some sort of lesson that what is in the box teaches us about God and His Word. And so let's see, we have another new member of the Sermon in the Box. Thank you for bringing it this morning, and let's see what we have. Well, we have a very, very colorful, I, I think this is a pig. It looks like a pig, but it's some sort of squishy thing. The nose kind of looks like a pig, or it's a squishy, a squishmeller, or what do they call those? It's supposed to be a horse? Oh, I see that now, all right. Oh, I see, well, and, okay. Yeah, and you know what it says on the back? It says Kentucky Derby. And this particular horse is enjoying a mint julep, I think, is what that is. <laughs> is having a good time here on Sunday morning, maybe getting ready for the Kentucky Derby. And so our friends, the Nesbits, have come to us. They have moved here uh, from Kentucky. And so uh, Ruth and her sisters, her mom and dad, just a few weeks ago uh, moved to a new home, moved to a new place. And you know what? Moving from Kentucky to Ohio can be hard sometimes. It's hard to move to a new place. And you know what? Ohio is a little colder. It's a little grayer than Kentucky was, I think, too. And so sometimes it's hard to move uh, to a new place. And it kind of reminds me of something. We're going to talk about it in the sermon. Uh, Peggy, I think you're going to talk about it in your class. Uh, but we read in the Bible that God moves his people to new places. He tells a man named Abraham to leave his home and go to a new place. And then he takes the children of Israel and he takes them out of Egypt and he takes them through the, the hard place of the desert and leads them to a new home in the promised land. And through all of those stories, one of the things that we learn is that no matter where God takes us, he is always with us. Whether we're in Kentucky, whether we're in Ohio, whether we're in India or Africa, whether we're in the north or the south, God is always with us, even when the sun is shining. And you know what? He's with us when it's gray and cold as well. And so maybe this Kentucky horse can help us to remember that uh, this morning, that wherever God takes us, he is with us. All right, we need to give the box to another of our...